in the mail. So that's great. I'm recording. I look forward to. Yeah. Uh, I'm locked the meeting and we're recording. Thank you. Hi. Good morning. Good, good morning. <laughs> she can't even say the word good. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, you guys. Good, 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 good. This this morning has been a, a biggie for Kareen. And I was laughing at the thought that I could even deliver a lesson today. And the thought came in because I'm feeling I could I could not possibly do a lesson, then I'm perfectly situated to do it. So And I join you there because before we met up on the screen. When Corrine told me this, mm. I was thinking to myself, wow, I'm so there as well. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm just not qualified to deliver this lesson. <laughs> that is what the ego says, right? Right. That's, that's awesome. So the ego is completely um, on its last leg. It's wobbling. It can't do this. And so good, because it'll be the Christ that does it. Yes. That's something to look forward to. Isn't it? Let's kick that sucker over. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, family. Thank you so much for being here. Because you pulled me up by my hair and put me in my chair and here I am and I have only you to thank for this. <laughs> and me too. <laughs> uh, my love for you is what's saving me. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> yes. Um, you know which lesson we're on today? Uh, yeah. Lesson 160. Mm, okay. I'm at, uh, I'm at home or I am at home. Fear is the stranger here. Yes. How true is that? <laughs> <laughs> we shall see. <laughs> the jury's still out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. You want to read it, sis? Sure. Okay. Let's see what it says. All but right. Just wait for a second because this is a little bit embarrassing <laughs> to the ego. Um, I, I just have to find the lesson. Okay. <laughs> so there's the ego right there. Yeah, how prepared we are. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, um, okay, no, it won't let me. So that's okay. And now here we go. Lesson 160. I am at home. Fear is the stranger here. Fear is a stranger to the ways of love. <laughs> Identify with fear. And you will be a stranger to yourself. And thus, you are unknown to you. Is that big, sis? <laughs> <laughs> so, and thus, we are unknown to ourselves. Yeah. It just sounds like total insanity, which it is. A bit of a shitstorm. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Where am I? I feel like Dory from Finding Nemo. <laughs> Short-term memory loss. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> you just got to laugh, guys. You yeah. have to. Okay. Yeah. So what is your self, meaning your holy self? That's the only self you are. What is your, sorry, what is your self remains an alien to the part of you which thinks that it is real? but different from your <laughs> holy self. That's right. What self is that? Yeah. Uh, move over, uh, self. I'm here. <laughs> yep. Who could be sane in such a circumstance? Who but a madman could believe he is what he is not and judge against himself? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. You know, um, I just want to say something here because when I, those first few years reading all about fear in A Course in Miracles, I kind of did a bit of a ego spiritual bypass with that 
Um, and I would, what I mean by that is I kind of separated anger, irritability, and rage <laughs> from fear. Uh -huh. And I think a few students tend to do that. But the way that the, what helped me was the idea of fear. Of course, it's like an umbrella. And it comes from our belief that we are sin. Mm -hmm. right? uh, so the idea of fear um, shields or protects a plethora of other, other uh, mm, negative things in the ego thought system. And one of those is anger. Anger comes up a lot. It almost comes up pretty much every day for most people, yeah, until until the ego is somewhat undone. Mm -hmm. So anger is, of course, an offshoot uh, from fear. I just want to say that before we get to the next paragraph. So, so, <clears throat> so all conditions that we experience that are not joy, peace, and perfect love, those would be offsets of the first uh, feeling of fear. Fear and all its babies, yeah? All its babies. Oh, I don't know. Because I want to slay those babies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we call them something else. Because yes. that's not very nice. Minions. <laughs> Minions. <laughs> I just just fear and then everything else that's a negative emotion is like a subset within the greater one, which is fear. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. That was helpful. Thank you. Paragraph two. There is a stranger in our midst who comes from an idea so foreign to the truth. He speaks a different language, looks upon a world truth does not know and understands what truth regards as senseless. Stranger yet, he does not recognize to whom he comes and yet, from, and, and yet maintains his home belongs to him. While he is alien now, who is at home. <laughs> and yet how easy it would be to say, this is my home. Here I belong and will not leave because a madman says I must. You know, this yeah. the way it's written makes it difficult to understand, maybe. I don't know. But, but if we're the if we are the holy child son of God, yeah. you know, in our inheritance. Mm -hmm. this peace and love and truth and we are at home in god and then we entertain this visitor <clears throat> this guest called fear and then fear comes in and you know we cower to this this is something i noticed that the ego squawks and immediately we just go oh my gosh you know and we're we're concerned about what it's doing as almost that, you know, it, it comes and makes itself at home and, and it becomes the majority, the truth teller. And we begin to doubt ourselves and we forget our authority and we forget who we are. We're so impressed by this, this newbie with this new way of talking and um, thinking. Yeah. Mm. Thank you for saying that, because what what I just saw then is that through the through the false self, the mythical me. We see fear as the ultimate authority. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and yet metaphysical law states that fear as an opposite of God as love and his son, who we are, um, is, is an illusion. Yes. It doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. This is big. And, and I'm reminded of when Jesus, you know, went into the wilderness and was tempted by the ego thought system. Um, the last thing he finally said was, you know, get thee hence. Okay, translation today, piss off. Oh, I thought you were going to say something else. I had to take a quick, quick breath. <laughs> you can't say that on YouTube, Corrine. They'll censor you. But I mean, honestly, you know. Mm piss off. I mean, in our authority. I remember I heard his voice say, do you not remember who your father is? Mm. Like, come on, grow a set, stand up. Grow a set. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you have forgotten who your papa bear is. Uh, uh, beautiful. <laughs> there we 
we go. Good, good. Um, okay, paragraph three. What reason is there for not saying this? For saying, this is my home. Yeah. He's off. It's off. Fear, right? Exactly. <laughs> so what reason is there for not saying this? Which Jesus calls true denial in chapter two of the text, right? Yeah. What could the reason be except that you had asked this stranger in fear to take your place? And let you be a stranger to yourself. No one would let himself be dispossessed so needlessly unless he thought there were another home more suited to his tastes. That's right. So come in, vagabond, set up. I've got a room for you. And you sit back and you watch while he eats your food and he belches and farts and makes a wreck of your home. <laughs> you know, <laughs> follows his own rules and lets your dog out when you specifically told him he needed to be in. And, you know, I mean, you could just feel it, right? But we don't think we have a choice. We just cower. Yeah. yeah. Fear is not an authority. And we don't we, want it. That's right. We, who are love, are the only authority. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Paragraph four, who is the stranger? Is it fear or you who, uns, who are unsuited to the home which God provided for his son? Is fear his own created in his likeness? Is it fear that love completes and is completed by? There is no home can shelter love and fear. Mm. Positive separation there, isn't there? Yes. We can't have both. Right, They're yeah. mutually exclusive. The presence of love in any moment completely excludes fear. And the presence of fear in any moment completely excludes love. That's it. There's no gray area between the light of love and the blackness of fear. That's right. So love and fear, they cannot coexist. If you are real, then fear must be illusion. I love that line. If you are real, then fear must be illusion. And if fear is real, hmm, then you do not exist at all. You feel that? Yeah. Paragraph five, how simply then the question is resolved. Who fears has but denied himself and said, I, as God's son, who shares 100% of God's power, am the stranger here, right? I am the stranger here. <laughs> and so I leave my home to one more like me than myself and give him all I thought belonged to me. Now is he exiled of necessity, not knowing who he is, uncertain of all but this, that he is not himself and that his home has been denied to him. Jeez. That's what fear does to us. Yeah, we've been evicted from ourselves. Mm -hmm. Thinking that we wanted something in this, in the fear, that fear could give us something that we actually wanted and we end up just... There's terror in that, that sentence. If fear is real, then you do not exist at all. And part of our mind, you know, gets that. And we see images of fear all over the place. And we're constantly, and these are our um, idols. So while we're worshiping these idols of fear, we're really going around saying that Christ doesn't exist. Mm. The Son of God is dead. So it's not just well, if the Son of God is dead, God must be too. Yeah, yeah. So it's not just in death. While I am believing images of fear, then there is no love. Love is dead. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Thank mm. you. Okay, here we go. Paragraph five. What does he search for now? What can he find? A stranger to himself can find no home wherever he may look, for he has made return impossible. 
his way is lost, except a miracle will search him out and show him that he is no stranger now. The miracle will come. For in his home, his self remains, our holy self. It asks no stranger in and took no alien thought to be itself. And it will call and it will call its own unto itself in recognition of what is its own. So when God's answer to this eviction was that, you know, part of us remained. Part of us remain and part of us, that part is what calls to the part of us that things were evicted and homeless. And homeless. Right? Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Paragraph seven, who is the stranger? Is he not the one yourself, holy self, calls not? You are, un you are unable now to recognize this stranger in your midst, for you have given him your rightful place. Yet it is yourself as certain of, of its own as God is of his son. He cannot be confused about creation. He is sure of what belongs to him. No stranger can be interposed between his knowledge and his son's reality. He does not know of, of strangers. He is certain of his son. <clears throat> God's certainty suffices for, sorry, whom he knows to be, whom he knows to be his son belongs where he has set his son forever. He has answered you who ask, who ask, who is the stranger? Hear his voice assure you quietly and sure that you are not a stranger to your father, nor is your creator stranger made to you. Whom God has joined, remain forever one, at home in him, no stranger to himself. Today, we offer thanks that Christ has come to search the world for what belongs to him. His vision sees no strangers, but beholds his own and joyously unites with them. They see him, they see him as a stranger, for they do not recognize themselves. Yet as they give him welcome, they remember. And he leads them gently home again where they belong. I just want to say this, is that yet as they give him welcome, they remember. And here in the dream, of course, the way that we give him welcome is to remember God's son in our brothers and sisters. That's it. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. how we give him welcome. Yeah. So we're going to believe that we're mm -hmm. outcasts and strangers, and we're actually going to even fear, you know, ourselves <laughs> until we join with the brother and remember. That's the that spark that remembers, wait a second. This is my home. Fear is the outcast. Fear is the stranger here. Yeah. But we won't remember it in isolation. No, it's too, it's way too difficult to reverse or to overcome if we don't join with others who have a similar goal. Right. Well, no, the same goal. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because there's too much judgment mm -hmm. to overcome which is fear, and there's too much doubt, and there's too much self-doubt, and there's too much um, false responsibility. There's too much special love. There's too much, you name it, you can go on forever. Well, love alone casts out fear. So I guess, you know, yes, we experience divine love in moments with God and with the Holy Spirit, but to feel it consistently enough to overthrow the so-called stranger fear, um, it takes a divine love and divine love can't, you know, it's, it requires our brother. Yeah. Yeah. We can't uh, reach perfect love without our brother. That's right. We can't exclude. Exclusion would be fear-based. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Paragraph 10. Uh -huh. Not one does Christ forget. 
not one he fails to give you to remember that your home may be complete and perfect as it was established. He has not forgotten you, but you will not remember him until you look on all as he does. Who denies his brother is denying him and thus refusing to accept the gift of sight by which his self, his holy self, is clearly recognised, his home remembered and salvation come. So that's the Christ vision where we wake up and, and recall home. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. So beautiful lesson, and that's lesson 160. I am at home. Fear is the stranger here. Piss off fear. <laughs> no, he doesn't say that there. Sorry. <laughs> this is really big. I feel Isn't like there's, there's more here, but I can't touch on it. I think we'll unpack it in tomorrow's lesson. Yeah. I just have a feeling. Okay. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining us. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. Sis, do you feel better? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I, I'm just, I'm recognizing that this, uh, the, how this relates to special love. And I caught it and then I lost it because there was resistance you know, there's so much going on right now for me, guys. I'm sorry. I'm process. I'm learning with you. I'm processing. <laughs> but um, this entrance of a fearful love is what let, um, what made me forget what I am. And it's not until I practice divine love with all of you that I can awaken and remember what real love is so that now I can look back at what's residing allegedly in my house, <laughs> the fearful love and recognize that that's the stranger. That's not normal. That's not love at all. And to ask the Holy spirit to, you know, repurpose everything and make that switch back to just, there's no love, but God's. The whole world is predicated on the special love and it sits in the middle of each one of our lives and all it is, is fear. Because it's only one who's in lack that seeks a special love because they looked within and found a huge vacancy, <laughs> a nothing, and went to go seek externally to find the love that it knows that it is. I lost it. Where did it go? Oh, it's in my brother. You need to give that to me now so I can be okay. It's all fear. Yeah. Anyway, I'm getting it. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, sis. Right. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Love you. Thank you. Bye. See you tomorrow.